So in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to simulate the DHT22 sensor with the Raspberry Pi. So first of all, you must know that it is not, we can't say that it is a proper uh, a simulation, but it will just help you a little bit understanding of how both the Raspberry Pi and DH2, DHT11 can be interfaced in, then simulated, okay? So you can see that uh, uh, in my previous all sort of simulations, uh, there is one problem that I can't move my Raspberry Pi and other components, okay? Just like Proteus, but in this project, I can move them, okay? I have uh, placed the drag and drop function, so, so they are working better. Okay, now you can see that we have three things uh, on right hand side. It is the coding window, the middle side, it is the hardware. And uh, these are our corrections that is pin out, VCC and ground, okay? So in pin out, uh, we will try to connect our, first of all, we will try to connect our DHT22 sensor with the, with the VCC and ground. So in so in VCC, we will write DHT underscore one, okay? After this is done, because VCC is connected to the first pin of the DHT22 sensor. So click on VCC, and now you can see that we have connected our uh, sensor with the VCC, okay? Now, after this is done, uh, with the pin number four, we need to write DHT underscore four and click on ground. So it is being connected to the ground, okay? So like this. So pin underscore out is equal to, pin underscore out is equal to GPIO. Um, we can write any pin like uh, one, okay? GPIO one, okay? And this thing, uh, we can connect it with five. We can connect it with six, pin number six, okay? But better is to, we can connect it with 12, but better is to connect it with the pin number 16 because uh, with pin number 16, it is uh, like uh, giving a better response. So uh, with pin, oh sorry, with pin number 16, uh, you, you need to connect it out. So like this, okay. Okay, again, this connected like this and this, okay. So now if we can move, we can see that our, our, our connections are our connections are like uh, uh, still remain intact okay okay so so like this okay okay so now okay can we click on run simulation Yes, okay, but you can see that still over uh, it, it is not going to work until you you have to press this uh, Run button with the caption B. Okay Here we have uh, import we have written in the coding import time import board import adafruit underscore DHT import Sutil, okay uh, PPS utility, okay, and then here we uh, Have defined our variable as sensor, okay? We, we can change the uh, name of the sensor or variable if you want. Uh, let us pause it if we use to write like sensep. But uh, here is one problem that uh, you, you have to declare it with the, um, you, you can just write the variable with six letter name, okay? Like sensep or hexer or with six maximum, with six characters, okay? With sensep is equal to temperature and humidity, okay? It will uh, this uh, variable will fetch the temperature and humidity function from the DHT underscore 11 uh, library, okay? So now we will run it out. Okay, it's uh, coding is working. Now we will go, we will, we, we can change the temperature and hum humidity with this track bar, okay? So we will click on run simulation and here you got answer in the Output console window that is temperature 36 and humidity 89. Okay, 
and here we can change now temperature 32 and humidity 70 these are random values okay with the track bar okay you can change them okay so maybe for your simulation of raspberry pi with dht 11 or dht 22 it will help you a little bit the link is given in the description for downloading the simulator so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe